Recently, jewelry theft had been occurring frequently, and it was difficult for police to make arrests without evidence. Later, the jewelry store connected the alarm devices to the MVR and configured linked recording and other security devices to solve the problem. Next, let's see exactly how it's done. First, let's get to know the alarm ports through this table. Next, let's connect them. If the terminal screws are in a tightened state, you need to loosen the screws. Cut the outer insulation of the wires to the appropriate length to avoid short-circuiting caused by the bare wires touching each other. Insert the wires and tighten the screws. Pay attention to avoid too loose or too tight to cause the wires to fall off or break. Refer to the left diagram for wiring. Then connect the alarm output device. Refer to the left diagram for wiring. Because current power supply doesn't have exposed wires, it needs to be connected with an adapter. Now all wiring is complete. Next let's see how to configure them. Open the NVR local side, click alarm and find the alarm input. Select alarm input port and device type, and your alarm name, click enable. Then you can configure the alarm schedule. You can hold down the left key and drag to draw the time period that needs to be set. We'll set it by clicking setting, and enter time range. Next, configure the anti-data period. If multiple alarms occur during the anti-data period, the system only record the event once. Then you can selectively configure alarm linkage actions, setting the linkage of alarm output port, and other linkage options. After completing all the operations, click apply, all done. Click alarm output and configure the alarm output mode. You can set alarm output mode to auto, manual, or off. After completing all the operations, click apply. Next, let's see if the configuration is successful. When an alarm is triggered, the system will pop up a message. And you can view the video when the alarm occurs. Get it, go ahead and give it a try.